Right, good morning and welcome to another Coaster Crazy Vlog here on YouTube. Yes, you can see by this packet of food, we're at West Midland, no, get it wrong already, West Midland Safari Park. Boo. Yeah, we we're joined by these two again in the back. But uh, yeah, there's a there's an animal get blocking the road. Get some food! Yeah, yeah then, food. Uh, so yeah, food was 3 95 it was... I can't remember how much he was to get in, I but yeah. Lisa, oh, ah, no! He's oh. knocked your wing mirror off already. <laughs> ah, run away! <laughs> run away! <laughs> so yeah, if you've never been to... Uh, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Seagulls. The seagulls. The the seagulls. The yeah, so if you've never Did been you to West Midland Safari room. Park before, Scratching it's it. basically <laughs> Safari Park, and then you've got the theme park over there as well. Uh, but you've got to get here early because if you're stuck in traffic in this safari park you could be in here for three hours which we've done before um they also do like a guided tour and a mini bus as well but like mine was saying just cute, before yeah. uh, you got to pre-book all that you got to pre-book your tickets to get in as well which is absolutely rammed by the way now yeah, really really busy so we got here 30 minutes before it opened up so i'll get you a bit of footage of the the animals as we drive around here and then the main vlog will start as we get over to the theme park, uh, we've got some rides over there. You've got like the uh, the walkthroughs, the dinosaur walkthrough, the Ice Age walkthrough, and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you uh, enjoy the vlog today from West Midland Safari Park. There you go. We've got some cheetahs just here. There's a car. There's a cheetah. cheetah. My cheetah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, like, it's, like I was saying, if you're coming to these places, you've got to be quick when you get around because you'd be just stuck in traffic all the time. Land of the uh, painted dog. We didn't get to see these last time. No, there wasn't any, was there? Uh, also, as, as if you've never been to these safari park type places, the, you, now and again you get a section where you've got to wait for a gate to move and then you drive in, then the gates close and then you can drive off. Oh wow, look how close this cheetah's got to us now. He's not. There you go. So, <laughs> oh, quick, you can go through. Oh. You can't, because it's there. Yeah, you go. Yeah. So it's saying about the gate as well. So he was waiting for the gate, and then the cheetah came and walked right next to us. So you never know what you got to see on these places. Right, so we're in the carnivore section now. We've got the painted dogs. You've got to make sure them windows and doors and sunroofs are all locked these are gorgeous these things they're like uh, hyenas uh, we didn't actually get to see any of these last time we came because they just had a load of pups so they were hiding there's loads of them Getting up there, yeah a whole uh, tribe of them if you think it's called no it's a pack isn't it yeah. like a pack of dogs so yeah that was that section and then I think we're going to the lions of the tigers now. So yeah, bit of footage there of the uh, the lions. That's Why zooming are you quite a, quite a oh. lot. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> what are you talking to me? I today? wasn't talking to you. I'm <laughs> filled in. Lions. Because you're on your phone, you can. I know, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm on, I'm not using the GoPro because I did that last time we came. And you the what pro? Could, couldn't see anything. They need to sort this road out. Yeah, a... Just to say as well, if you've come in your four by fours, there's actually a section just here uh, that you can drive around for your four by. It's a, yeah, it's a gravel road, which you can't really see anything. Yeah, there's loads of all there. Loads, yeah. Loads up there. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so as you can see here, you've got the uh, the white lions just here. Are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to lions. So yeah, you can see me in quite quite a distance with this camera as well oh, now. Wow, There's one there. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, these are really cute. We're not sure what they're called yet because oh, the, the sign's over there. there. If we can zoom Why in on it. Window and try and coax it over. No, you're not allowed to. <laughs> well, yeah, very cute. There's a couple in here. Did they say close your window? And uh, yeah. over there as well. Yeah, very cute. It's not cool, it? You'll drop it. Shut it's up! Try to film. <laughs> Right, so you can just see the uh, Indian rhinos just hitting mines, <laughs> being Indian. <laughs> Get out of the way. So yeah, I got the uh, the rhinos just here oh, as well. Look, look at the furry tail. Oh. Here we are. It's actually we waited a bit and then he ended up walking down here. Chilling. Hello, mate. Wow, look at that. I'm... Hi. It's amazing. You got a sign. Yeah. Yeah, are we happy? Yeah, we're happy. Right. White Bengal tigers, as it says there on the sign. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, so we've done the uh, safari. It took us about an hour. Um, like I said, if there's any traffic or anything like that, it normally could take between two to three hours, actually. Uh, so we did that pretty quick. So as you come out of the safari there, uh, you drive up this road here, and obviously you can park up. Uh, there's toilets and refreshments just in this section here uh, and then you've got the uh, other part of the uh, safari park uh, which is where we're going to now uh, which has got like a bat cave and penguins uh, it's also got the uh, the dinosaur animatronics walkthrough section and um, new for I think it was last year and maybe the year before that it's a uh, ice age sort of area Again, animatronics and that sort of thing as well. Uh, but they also got the uh, the theme park, which is really good actually. It's it's got some unique rides in it. It's got this very odd ghost train, a uh, really good uh, drop tower, Fabry drop tower, uh, two, three. I think there's three coasters there now. Um, but yeah, we should have a good day. So we we'll spend most of the day there. Rides in the theme park don't actually open until half eleven. Uh, but it's very busy here, so make sure if you're coming to uh, to book online. Um, I don't think there's face masks or anything are required. I've had to uh, email the park. Was he doing anything in the background? They're over there. Just been to the toilet. Um, yeah, I had to I had to email the park for permission to film on the rides as well. It's actually the same company that owns uh, an, an, uh, like another chain of parks out there. So uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we should have a good day. I've not been here for about three years. Um, like I say, you've got to get if you want to do that safari as well. It gets very busy, this place. In fact, a lot of safari parks uh, or this sort of type of place do get very busy because they're very popular with adults and families and the kids and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, we should have a good day. Like I say, we're walking over towards the the main section now. Um, but yeah, the safari was all right. I must admit, it's not the best that we've done before. Uh, they don't have like a monkey section, or you know, there's, there's nothing like that. One of the one of our favourites that we've done is uh, the one at Woburn Safari Park. It's really good. They've got a section there with the bears and wolves, and you've got your monkeys. And then obviously you can park up, and then you go go around your uh, your second section as well, which is basically like uh, well, all sorts of animals and things. There's a play area and things as well. Not really as much uh, as rides at Woburn, but this one's a bit like your Long Leets and your Knowsley Safari Park. But this one's, as as a theme park goes with the rides, this is this is probably the best one of the lot. But yeah, so we should get to get sorted. You get again. You don't have to show tickets or anything to get into this bit. Once you've paid at the main entrance over there, when you come in, then that's it. But I just must. Uh, Remind you all as well uh, that the theme park is not included. You've got to buy a separate ticket for the rides uh, once you get into the uh, section over there. So let's go and have a look around. Right, so you can see the uh, social distancing markers, uh, well, information about it on that board there. I haven't actually seen any on the ground as such yet, but here's your main entrance. Um, don't know why they've got the gate across there, but. Um, I don't know, it's, it says no entrance, so that's obviously some sort of exit route. The main entrance looks like you go through the side here. But uh, what we did with the safari, you can actually book a like a guided tour, uh, like the, the VIP uh, experience just here. So we did this last time we came, it was about £7 each, it wasn't too bad. 
Um, I can see they've got selling face max in there as well for $5.99. Um, but yeah, the uh, VIP experience is pretty good actually. We did it last year. Check out the vlog if you haven't seen it, uh, where you basically go around in a, um, like a little minibus really. You've got your wash stations here as well. So obviously when you come out of the, uh, the safari itself, you've got some port loos just there as well, which have, they've added. Andy's loos. <laughs> good plug to Andy's loos. And here we go. So the main entrance is now on the side. So obviously that's an entrance and that's an exit. So yeah, let's go and have a look. It's first time for Charlotte here as well, isn't it? So she get three creds, eh? Basic, basic. Martin's he's got his green hoodie again. Yeah, yeah. The fans, fans of the channel like the green hoodie. It seems <laughs> it's changed colour. <laughs> yeah. The, there's a lot of a lot of love for that a <laughs> new hoodie for Christmas so yeah let's uh, let's go and have a look what they've got here it's a really nice place to come and visit if you've never been before hopefully it shouldn't be too busy around this section because like I said most people come for the safari itself I'm not keen how this sprayed like <sighs> sprayed it on the floor yeah it's a bit low budget that yeah yeah so there's the, obviously you can see there the shop queue there wary face masks for your shops got myself a new face mask it's not branded merch or anything but it's it's better than the one i had before anyway so i got myself a face mask we've got one each actually uh food court and ice creams and stuff there as well so yeah it, at least they're doing something i did see on facebook as well as a, a tucker's fun fair not been able to open because of the council have denied them permission to open they've already set up got everything in place for the opening and stuff and yeah council have denied them permission to open which is such a shame really it's it's terrible isn't it i know i know i had that little waffle on the uh, the last vlog of the fair as well so yeah it's understandable really isn't it it's getting everyone down but at least places are open people taking the precautions uh give way one-way systems here so yeah this is like the main bit to it anyway really other than the safari itself so you've got like penguins just here to the left you've got the back cave just there as well oh there he are the green hoodies out <laughs> for the fans so yeah you've got penguins here so can't touch the glass I think they do a show. I think there's some sort of show over there as well. I'm not sure if that's open at the moment with what's going on. Well, yeah, penguins here. And what I'll do is, back cave, what I'll do is I'll switch to my phone now because everyone keeps going on about how good the nighttime um, mode on the uh, iPhone 11 Pro is. So I'll, I'll check it out. We'll see what it's like. So yeah, next footage you'll see from here is um, on my new phone. All right, so let's go and check out the back cave. Is it? Oh, it's closed, is it? We'll walk around it straight away. Let's see what this low light feature's like on the phone. Oh, it's the wrong bit, isn't it? We're coming the wrong section. <laughs> this is the preview for anyone that doesn't like the bats. So anyway, you can tell it's actually working because, yeah, it's quite dark in here, but... Oh, it looks quite bright, but yeah, this is the back preview bit. <laughs> I think the main bit's round the other side, which is round here somewhere. Yeah, just up there. I'll get back to you in a second. <laughs> right, so you just saw that last clip then. Yeah, that was the back preview section. Unfortunately, we've walked up to the area uh, where you get into the back cave, and there's a there's a Oh, temporarily close sign. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, see what else is in here. I think there's like creepy crawlers and things. But yeah, such a shame. <laughs> I like the Bat Cave. Oh, we're obviously keeping that. Again, I've not, I'm not seeing any markers anywhere on the floor. Oh, I'm not in there. 
leaf cutter ants. Again, I'll switch to the phone so you can so I can zoom in a bit because obviously you can't see anything there. You can think you make out the leaves on them ants there. There's one just here as well. So, <laughs> no social distancing markers anywhere. Yeah, so you've got a bit of an aquarium as well. Look how uh, look how bright it is. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. What is it, Charlotte? Don't know. Funny little bottom feeder. So this is one of the new areas of the park, or this is probably the newest area of the park, which is the Ice Age section you also got dinosaurs just over there as well but this is what they added a few years ago and we haven't been back since the uh, they opened it really from what i've seen before it looks really good some really nice themed areas at this park and then there's some that uh, uh, need a bit of work on <laughs> as, as we'll say later when we do, uh, do the ghost train there they are fossils Yeah, I hope that footage of the phone turns out all right, because it didn't look too bad. Look up here. meant to be lava. So there's information to read. Climate change. Oh, here we are. Not bad in here at all. There's a dodo over there, and not the one holding the camera. You've got to wait for people to move out of the way. <laughs> oh, there's another dodo here. Northern Europe. Cave bear. Wow, it's pretty cool. So that must admit some of the animatronics are looking a bit um, a bit worse for wear now. Oh yeah, move they move as well. And you got all these uh, information boards. 
Yeah, it's a bit fitting that I wore this top today because next up is the uh, dinosaur section. But this is what they added, like I say, a couple of years ago now. We've got like the uh, woolly mammoths and things like that. I don't think some of these um, animatronics have sort of lasted very well, if I'm honest. They're looking a bit worse for wear with the cobwebs and stuff all over them, all the hairs hanging off it. Unless it's supposed to look like that. That looks impressive. Yeah, the I say section was all right. It probably looked a lot better when it was uh, brand new, but next up we're going to the lorikeet landing section, which is obviously got a, <laughs> which where you're standing again. Not keen on these. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, so in the lorikeet, she got the food. She's covered in them. <laughs> I put on the top of I've got one. Oh, here we are. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at that food here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, go on. Hello. Oh, look at Martin. He's covered in him. I put on my head. <laughs> Because <laughs> they love that green hoodie, Martin. Oh. Hello. You, eat, you had it all. <laughs> Hello. One bird has eaten all of them. That's it, gone. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I'm taking a picture. He's trying. Trying. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, it's gone now. He looks a bit. Good old scabbers. <laughs> good old scabbers. Hello. There you go. That's it. Finished. I love the uh, the Laura Keats there, really uh, cute little birds. I tell you what, this hand sanitizer that I've just I've just used it, but I'll show you again. But it's like a foam. Oh, look at that! That's really good, and it smells nice too. So that's yeah, big thumbs up to the hand sanitizer. I'm not keen on the social distancing markers they've put down though. I think they're not very good at all. And there's people in the uh, bird section they're coming up really close to you and stuff so there's still a few parks out there that need to you know make things a little bit better we'll go around to the theme park now but we'll probably come back to the dinosaur section which is just here behind me which is just the land of the living dinosaurs um, pretty much the same as what we've just done with the um, ice age section but that one's slightly better but yeah I'm not I'm not keen on these markers at all there's just just spray painted on the floor could have done with some proper ones but well, never mind like i say at least it's open so yeah we're going over to the theme park now again like i said it's an extra ticketed area you've got to get a wristband for this i think it's about 14 pounds or something like that uh, that's in on top of what you've already paid for to get in but it's not bad reptile world down there as well we'll probably see that on the way back out really nice cafe here Dinosaur calf. Then that was rethemed a while ago. Uh, but yeah, just remember when you're going into shops now, you have to wear those face masks. Restaurants, yeah, not so much. And out and about, not so much. But yeah, in the shops you do. So here we go. We cross this road here. And there's also some uh, some more animals as well down here as well. You got the hippo lakes. I'm not sure if that's new or not. Uh, I don't really remember the Lima Woods either, but I think that's on the back end of it. You get an annual pass. We'll check it all online. West Midland Safari Park, which is actually quite a good day out, really. Um, even in, low, in the load season, the theme park's actually closed, the rides are closed, but most of the actual park is open, the safari park's open as well. This looks new here animal encounter stage i don't remember this i knew the last time we came they were building something on the other side so that looks quite nice there's your times for it it's open i think 
but yeah i'm not i'm not keen on these markers at all especially when they're not i mean this is just showing you one way i suppose but some good rides in here you got the Huss frisbee just there the drop tower is just behind him that's called venom really good drop tower you got a little rapids you got a log flume three coasters a uh, big queue of people to get the wristbands so yeah we'll see you when we get in there right so we've got the wristbands 14 pound 50 per adult for the uh, adult wristbands uh, uh, we're in that's it so other than this actual theme park uh, which is owned by the Lupins group I couldn't remember what it, it owned them before yes yeah, the Lupins group that own Pleasurewood Hills and Bagatelle so so far we don't know anything about having to wear masks on rides or anything I don't think you do it doesn't look like it from what I've seen uh, we've got some good rides here though some really good rides the raft ride isn't too bad similar one to what you find at the uh, Gulliver's Parks and um, what's the other one? Uh, Lightwater Valley's got one as well. Huh? Yeah, I don't think there's anything new. Uh, they've rethemed the Twister Coaster, although it looks exactly the same as it did before. It's now called Monkey Mayhem. It's not, it's the same colour. Oh, was it? Walls Twister theme. Yeah, but Walls Twister is green and yellow as well, isn't it? No, red and red. Oh, is it? Red and... Oh, oh, it looks like they have painted it then. But no, it, it looked the same to me. I'm sure it was green and yellow before. Pretty quiet in here compared to the rest of the park. But this always seems to fill up in the afternoon. Yeah, again, I know I've said it a few times already. I'm not, I'm not keen on these at all. It just looks really scruffy and untidy. There isn't actually any social distancing markers anywhere that I've seen. Just telling you which way to go. So yeah, Venom, there you go. That's uh, one of the best drop towers in the UK. Like I said, we have got permission to film on the rides. Uh, I did email the park a few, well, quite a while ago actually. Um, last week, I think it was. Uh, you also got uh, Rhino just there as well, Rhino Roller Coaster, which is the uh, junior uh, Vacoma coaster. They actually used to be a Vacoma boomerang just in there, believe it or not. You got a really good uh, log flume just here, really well themed log flume with all this sawmill section. And you got the bumper cars just over there, which are quite cute. They've got that like, animal theme to them. You got ride tickets, so. Yeah, I didn't even know about that really. I thought it was just wristbands, but yeah, you can buy tokens there, ride tickets, two pound for one ticket, seven for four tickets. Uh, please note, some rides require two tickets. So anyone that's asking, do they do tokens as well? According to that, they do. So yeah, you just use that machine just there. Uh, as we go around to the rides, I'll show you what um, what the prices are for the well, like for the tokens. According to that it doesn't actually say so jungle cat dodgems yeah the log flume's really good really well themed again it's another one of them standard revachon models with a double drop in the middle and the single one on the side but yeah it doesn't say anything about ride tokens on there uh, regarding on ride film and i think i'll probably have to use a chest harness oh they have re-themed it yeah it's got new trains on it They've got like little monkeys on them. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, they must have painted it. I thought it was the same color. But yeah, believe it or not, there used to be a, a Vacoma boomerang sat in here. You sort of sometimes see with like where the footers used to be and like all that in the middle and so it would have been one side of it and go up there and come back and the other side of it was over here somewhere. So yeah, Monkey Mayhem, the first ride of the day.
Awesome. Yeah, the Rhino coaster was really good actually. I, I, I have always enjoyed that coaster. It's pretty smooth, there's loads of room in the seat. It's, it's great, good first drop as well. So yeah, I think we're going off to uh, to get something to eat now. Uh, brought a packed lunch with us actually. Uh, got some sandwiches and things and a drink. Well no, we've had a good day so far. Get yourselves out here, West Midland Safari Park. It's a really pretty park here. It really is. They've got some really nice rides actually. Uh, they also got some of your midway games here, like your hooker ducks and your chucking your balls and your barrels and your buckets or whatever they are. Uh, it's really nice actually. It's a really nice day. The uh, Zamperla Disco is brilliant actually. Kong, really good theming on it. You got the hurling hippos just here, and um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't want to say it really on the vlog, but yeah, it's probably the worst ghost train in the whole country. It's not great. I, I really wish they would improve it and I would just do something with it. It's terrible. <laughs> but at least they've got one here. You know, it's not really aimed for the, for the th thrill seekers anyway. There's your Kong. There's literally three people on the whole ride. So as most people come into this park, go straight to the safari. And then they come into here late in the afternoon, you've got some arcades as well. So yeah, we're off to get something to eat now. Like I said, we brought a, a packed lunch. We've, we've got some sandwiches and stuff at the service station on the way. And uh, yeah, we'll have them and get back on some more rides. All right, so you've got Giggly Park here, really cute little area. It's um, sort of for the kids really, like a little play park, but we've just sat over there on the bench and had our picnic. So we just had some sandwiches and things like that. I had a hoisin duck and sauce wrap thing, it was really nice. So yeah, we just sat in there really for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, we had something to eat. And I've got to walk around the uh, African section here. It's really smart, this uh, rhino that's made of wood, just here. You can tell it's made of wood because you can see the wood. Um, yeah, they've got like the meerkat, lemur woods, goat walk, all that sort of stuff inside here. It's really nice little themed area here. 
you wear your masks in the shops or your meerkats as well this attraction is currently closed oh so we can't see the lemurs oh that's a shame so yeah just be aware when you come into these uh, attractions these parks and things that not everything's going to be open you, you know if you've watched the vlogs um i hope you have enjoyed the um, um, a huge amount of vlogs that i've uploaded in the past week or so where we did that week-long trip around england started up at the top in south shields and then we ended up at the bottom and then we went over to norfolk had a really good time that was awesome really enjoyed them and seeing new places as well and everyone seems to uh, seems to enjoy them as well uh, last weekend we went to the uh, the fair as well in Burzeldon, i think it's called uh, like the first fair of the of the season as well so it's good to get back at some some fairs as well I haven't other than that we haven't really done anything this week obviously i'm, I'm, I'm back at work so that's uh that's good i just now and again to get time to come to these places like here you know the meerkats i think the make yeah the meerkats is the only thing that's open yeah <laughs> it's just pointing there's one down there yeah. chilling chilling so yeah you got all the goats and stuff up at the top there that's all all closed off never mind Right, so we're back in the theme park now. Uh, just one more coaster to get. Uh, Charlotte, like I said, Charlotte's not been here before. I think Martin's been a few times, and me and Lisa have obviously been a few times as well. But Charlotte's never been before, so it's three brand new credits for her. And typical, one of them had to be a caterpillar, didn't it? So, yeah, <laughs> it's another caterpillar. I've already got these, bef been before, many times before. Uh, it's a two lap special caterpillar. And then you've got the Zamperla Disco just over there as well and a few other little rides, like I say £14.50 for what they've got here, isn't too bad really. African Big Apple Coaster. Cred, 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 cred. <laughs> in fiery goodness this one's got an apple A good overview of the, the theme park here. It's a really nice looking park actually.
Right, there we go. Yeah, Charlotte's completed a three cred save. What do you think to the place, Charlotte? I ain't really got you on camera today much. No, because I've been walking in front looking at all the animals. Uh, it's nice here. Surprising I've never been here. It's um, from Man well, Morecambe. Yeah, it's a bit of a Literally. distance. I mean, it yeah. took us, what, an hour and a half or something yeah, to get here, it? Yeah, it took us about 25 minutes to get to yours as yeah, well. Yeah, so about two hours, isn't it, really, for you? So it's a nice little park, and yeah. I've got these three creds now. Yeah, happy so I days. Only need 18 in the UK, including Belfast. 18? Oh, right, yeah. Including Northern Ireland. Oh, and right, yeah, yeah. We're very camp at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's three more creds. That's, that's six, it, three six, more. Eight, four. Well, that's it. Get yourselves out to these other places again. I keep mentioning it. A lot of people won't even know that this place even existed. They've probably heard of West Midland Safari Park, but would never even think that there was roller coasters here or even these rides. It's, uh, it's getting a bit busier now. Uh, we just had a bit of a rainstorm as well while we was on the Caterpillar. But yeah, we'll probably do the, uh, the, the ghost train now, which is all right, but it's, it's nothing special. Elise is in the slot machines here. She's won a load of tickets on Summit. Yeah, I know, she's won a load of them. She's just over here, yeah. <laughs> she only had a pound. She must have found some more on the floor. Well, yeah, you got the uh, the fireman ride here, like what they've got at um, Thomas at Drayton, Drayton Manor. Like I say, you got Kong, you got the carousel. I'm sure that was a carousel that I filmed before. It might be uh, the gallopers. Here's your ghost train, anyway. Uh, it's a pirate ship. So there's still a lot we haven't done yet. The log flume we haven't done, the drop tower we haven't done, black fly. So you can spend most of your day in here. And then obviously, if you wanted to do the safari park again. There's no extra charge, you can go around again and do the safari park again, but yeah, we've had a good day actually, it's been all right. And the slot is. Go on then, what do you think to that? What was it? What was, what was it? It's actually that bad, it wasn't, it was actually good, it was that bad. <laughs> it's it smell of a toilet. Better than Phantom Manor. Better than Phantom Manor. <laughs> right, I think we're going around to do the log flume now. Oh no, it's, it's very unique. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't rate it much. But uh, no, if they, if, they sp they spend the, if they spend the money on it, it could be better than what it is. <laughs> Log flume next. What's that? What is that? From Hemsby. Hemsby, no, Hemsby. from Slotties. Yarko. <laughs> Narco. Yarko. Yarko, Yarko. Right, uh, next up is Zambezi water splash. I just want to point out these as well. I can't remember when these were added, but all the rides have got all these really nice signs, and I did notice that the ride ticket is on these as well so this one's two tickets the ghost train was one I, obviously from a distance you can't really see that so and if you're not looking for it you wouldn't know it was there but uh, now this one's a really good themed log flume actually like i said earlier it's the standard revachon model uh but i really like the theming on this one pretty much walk on as well these revachon ones are quite good though they're all right they're fast and you can get pretty well yeah again i just want to point out these 
markers on the ground there's no one's has a clue how, how they work i mean obviously you're meant to stand in the one that hasn't got a crossing but we stood at the ghost train and people were stood right behind us so these aren't working they're, they're not very good 90 percent of the british public doesn't understand what social distancing no means. no I'm obviously working in retail yeah crazy every day of the week but these these aren't working you know especially with it being tape as well and they, they can come off we have the plastic screens up at the till and people pop their head round like, <laughs> well, the reason it's there is for you to stay on that side yeah yeah come on common sense at the end of the day but like i said yeah they, body, they, these aren't working <laughs> just put something else there well you know it's all coming away here it's rubbish you your own yeah i got on my own yeah no worries yeah really good log flume like i said it's all about the rides here today and the animals but this one's really good He gets soaking wet like this guy here. Yeah. He's dripping. Right, here we go. It's uh, it's the soak of this one, the, the boat's wet. Not really much to hold on to, you just gotta wedge your feet on there. Double drop first. There we go. <laughs> Bit of a sprinkle, there he is, fan of the channel! <laughs> Hello, you're on the tally now! <laughs> fan of the channel. Here we go. Uh -oh. Wait till they the handle here or something to hold on to, because otherwise you're holding down here. Here we go. Hold on tight. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> I'll go around again. <laughs> oh, camera's wet though. <laughs> Really good log flumes. I really enjoy these little Revachon log flumes. I mean, they're, they're, they're quite predictable sometimes. I mean, I got quite a bit wet on there, actually. A bit on my arm and just a sprinkle on my legs. Most of it's on my face, the same with Charlotte. She's covered. <laughs> but yeah, you never know what you got to get with these ones. Sometimes they're a bit wetter than others, but no, they're a really good ride, actually. And any part that hasn't got a log flume, get one of these. They're not bad. They're not bad. Although saying that, Paltons Park does have one of these and I'd prefer if they had a bit more of a permanent log flume if I'm honest uh, maybe like a rapid to go well there as well but uh, the rapids there? I know I was just saying that Paltons Park's got one of these oh. but yeah it's covered in it's covered in water as well oh we've had a good day actually today uh, a few more rides to go we'll do the drop tower maybe the other rapid uh, the other rapids the rapids uh, yeah <laughs> Well, no, it's really good here, really good. Not massive crowds either, just sitting there, walk straight onto that log flume. There's a couple of things that have got a bit of a queue. I don't know why, because there's not really anyone on there. From what I can see, two, three, six, seven. There's about eight people on there. But yeah, next up is uh, Venom, which is the drop tower over there, Fabry drop tower. Pretty much the same as um, the one that's at um, Pleasurewood Hills, but a, a smaller version, and it's only got one side to it as well. It's really unique, it actually. It's, there's not many of these ones around. Really, really good drop tower. Right, here we go on uh, Venom. I just want to point out, these chairs are so comfortable. There's loads of room in it. I've, it's probably the, one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in for a ride. I'll say not very tall at all really, we're near the top now. Great views of the park Sorry. there. <laughs> no, we haven't found out before the short ones are normally better. Still have to hold on like, oh man.
Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, man! Woo! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> that was awesome. Send it again. Right, here we go for the third time. We've just swapped seats. Well, we just did two in a row on the same seat. We haven't, well, we haven't queued up again. We just stayed on it. What a good drop tower this is. It's really, really good. There's some different views on this side. Obviously, there are two coasters there and the rock flume over there. You've got the little dodgems just down there. Oh, God, every time, every time. I know what to expect. Oh, you can just get a little jolt. Oh, there you go. And then it takes you up a little bit more, then you get the drop, which is about now. Oh! Wow. <laughs> it's awesome. Get yourselves here and come and ride Venom. All right, so good to get back on Venom. Last time we came, a few years ago, it was closed. It was down for maintenance. Um, but no, it's brilliant. I've, I'm just going to have to go out there and say it. It's got to be the second best drop tower in the UK after Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. These little ones are so good. I mean, we, we also like uh, Jolly Roger at, at uh, Pleasurewood Hills as well. But then again, it's a, it's a taller model than this, and this one's just as good. It's brilliant. We stayed on there for three rides. Fantastic. I mean, it's straight off. And uh, yeah, it's just on one side. You can see it there. It doesn't go all the way around. Uh, taken up by a chain. And the seats are so comfortable as well. In fact, they're probably the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in on a ride. Period. They're just brilliant. There are loads of room in them. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Get some really good views there uh, around the park. But no, brilliant. Really, really, really good drop tower by uh, Fabry. Right, oh, wild, wild river rafting next. Just watch some people coming off. Some people are absolutely soaked, and some people not so much. Oh, it's dripping water out of that middle bit there. Look. But yeah, just uh, again another generic uh, rapids. Got quite a few of these around the UK now. So yeah, let's get on it. See how wet we're gonna get. I still don't like these. All right, here we go. But oh, remain seated and hold on to the steering wheel at all times. Although it doesn't actually steer anything. So yeah, it's just a generic Revachon model. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, rubber dicky rapids, bro. Here we go. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on to that steering wheel. <laughs> oh no, look at that! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! No! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Such a cool little rapids, really, really good. Got a bit on this bit down here and obviously with the water dripping from there as well 
really, really good rapids. I like them. Nice clean water as well. Yeah, brilliant. I don't know what we're doing next, but yeah, we've done a we've done all right today. All right, so one of the last rides of the day is hurling hippos, which we're on now. Really good flat ride. There's only six people on the whole ride. Yeah, some of the rides are, I don't know, very, uh, very quiet. There's a lot of people walking around, but there isn't many people on the rides. Just did the uh, monkey mayhem again. I know, we've had a really good day today. Right, so the last thing we need to do is land of the living dinosaurs. Like I say, it's got that Ice Age section that's on the other side of this. Um, yeah, we came a few years ago. I was actually really, really impressed with this. Um, bit of theming and stuff. I mean, like there's odd bits where it could do with, you know, a bit of a clean around, but um, no, it's, you know, don't come here to look to see about things like that. No, we've had a really good day, actually. Really, really good day. There's just a few little things they need to sort out. Obviously, some people don't care about the social distancing, so there's always someone near you who's got a stick. <laughs> and some of the markers and stuff are not great. <laughs> He's got to throw a stick at me. But the animatronic dinosaurs in here are brilliant. This is pretty much the last thing we need to do any anyway. We've done all the rides that we wanted to do. So it's all like could have stayed on Venom for an hour or so, yeah. Some of the some of the rides have been very, very quiet actually, although the park's busy and you've got to pre-book your tickets to get in. Uh, some of the rides have been very quiet. So I think that's your ice age section just over yeah it is. You can see the mammoths on the over the top of the fence. You got the good old longus necus up here again loads of, loads of things to read the stegosaurus over there longus necus so yeah it's not bad actually we'll walk a bit further around and show you what's on the other side i've got a really good t-rex down there as well ah uh, these dinosaurs are massive if you've got children that are into dinosaurs you've got to bring them here to check this out it's it's massive i mean Obviously the GoPro doesn't show you the scale of this thing. I mean, I don't know if it works that way or not. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's huge. Really, really big. It's a couple of stories high, at least. I don't even know if they're um, like life size, but it's saying they were 70 ton when fully grown. I mean, I, I can believe that. And you've got the uh, huge T-Rex just over there as well. No, it's a really good section this, I mean obviously when they built this they uh, went and did the Ice Age section as well because it was so popular and this is one of the best things in the park really I mean yeah we've had an awesome day today, I mean the highlight for me and probably Martin as well, I'd say Venom, Venom. Venom's oh. probably the best ride here She's happy she's got, she's got her three credits as well so if you're into your well, coasters Plus one. Oh, you're not. I'm not monkey cheating. Mayhem. Monkey Mayhem. He's cheating. He's saying. I, no, there is actually people out there. If it, if a coaster has been renamed or repainted, they will class it as a new coaster credit. It's not. It's the same coaster. I'm joking. <laughs> but people do it though, don't they? Look at that. That is amazing, isn't it? That's so cool. So yeah, I mean, we've we've had an awesome day today walking around the park other than this there isn't really much else to say but if you if you're quick and get around everything you can you can do the uh, safari again there's no there's no like gate or anything to check your tickets to go back in again so you can go do the safari again i think that actually closes at four o'clock and then this is open till what time did we say this is open six was it six, six uh, i mean it closes in about an hour and a half so I'm saying seven, but it's six. <laughs> 
But uh, no, we've had a good day, haven't we, Charlotte? It's been good. Yeah, something a bit different. It's good to actually get here. Yeah, happen. finally get here, get to tick them off. Because I always avoided here because it's too Alton Towers. I'd rather go yeah. there. Because where we, yeah, time. there's actually quite a lot in this area as well. There's a, there's a few of these little parks dotted around that have got like one coaster. There was that uh, Saint Nicholas's Park and Saint Nicholas Park, Sandwell. Valley. Sandwell, yeah. Um, What's the other one? There? Warwick's not far away. That's Saint Nicholas Park. All oh, right, yeah, but there was a. Um, the one there, Edge Baston, Cannon Hill. Oh, Cannon Hill. That was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, Cannon Hill Park. How far away was uh, Drayton Manor's probably not that far away. Stourbridge. Stourbridge, we've, yeah, they've got a little dragon coaster. So that's that's your last dinosaur. Well, no, I'm gonna probably end up end it here, really. I mean, it's it's been a really good day. Um, I, I, I quite like it. It's probably the only third time I've ever been here. There's, every time we've come, there's been something new to come and see. Like this, on this visit, it's been the uh, the Ice Age section. There's been no other. Oh, and the ride change as well, um, Monkey Mayhem. Um, it's not California though. It's is not you? California. It's now owned by Lupins. Yeah, it's now owned by the Lupins group that own Bagatelle and Pleasurewood Hills. Um, it's been good. I mean, the only sort of niggles I've really got is like there need to be more social distancing markers dotted around. I think Some the of the. And the people, yeah. Yeah, the general public. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of people around. I, mean, I don't know if people have been living in another world or something. Yeah, it's been it's, actually going on. Yeah, it's like people just don't to seem to know. Well, no, you, you should know how to social distance yourself, like here. So they're queuing up there, but there's no markers on the floor. Just things like that. People don't feel like just no. on creds. On creds. Yeah, I mean, we've tried to stay away from people and things but no with other than that we've had a good day it's like i say some of the markers have not been clear enough um but that's it so you don't need a marker to tell you what to you do. know you shouldn't have you to no to to no exactly so i always stick to them rules sometimes and you uh sometimes you can't no help. sometimes you can't walk, no in a queue i've got um, walked up to people by accident yeah well, that's it you, you, sometimes you just forget but i hope you've enjoyed this one uh, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I've no idea where we are next time. It's one of them, we're just sort of during the week, we'll go, oh, we'll go here next week. I've got nothing else planned. Um, so there might be a big bit of a gap between the vlogs after this one and the one coming up, whatever it'll be. But now from uh, West Midlands Safari Park, here in the Midlands, uh, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh yeah, there's a sea lion theatre there as well, but that's closed as well. I'll see you later. Bye for now.